Good afternoon. Uh, in this Algebra 2 video, I'm looking at numbers 12 through 16, which all have to do with concept 21, which is our log concept, we're working with logarithms. And, and number 12 says, choose the correct inverse of the equation 3 to the x equals y. And to start finding the inverse, what we usually did is we took the x and y and reversed them. So this became 3 to the y power equals x. And then to finish writing this as this inverse, we, our goal was to write this as y equals. We wanted to solve for y. And the only way to do that is to write it in log form. So what we did is we used the log with a base of 3 to match this base 3 of the solution x would be equal to the exponent y. Uh, so there's the inverse written in log form to get the y alone which is, oh it happens to be right here, choice D, log base 3 of x equals y, just flipped around, uh, there's our choice for number 12. Now number 13, <coughs> when we get here, uh, we are working with logs, just evaluating each log, and a lot of these you can hopefully do, most of these with, without a calculator. Uh, for the first one, number 13, remember that this log base 4 of 16 is equal to x, we're basically solving for x, and I show that because a lot of times when we're working with these logs, people forget that this gives us the exponent. So this variable would represent the exponent with, when you have the base of 4. So this is 4 to the x power equals 16. And that's nice and easy because that solution would be 2. 4 to the second power would give us 16. Then the same idea here. This is equal to x. So it's 2 to some power to give us 1 over 32. And one trick with the fractions, when the fraction was the answer, remember that this, to get this to flip over, we needed a negative exponent. So we know it's going to be negative, it's negative something. Now it's 2 to some power really to give us 32. 2 to the 2nd, to the 3rd, to the 4th, to, oh, to the 5th would give us 32, but then we have to make a negative to make it flip over and do the reciprocal. So our solution for number four, 14, is negative 5. Now 15, we get to this notation with the ln uh, of e. And remember that the ln is the natural log, and natural log is the log base e. So really what this is doing is it's saying log base e of e which is equal to the exponent that we would be finding. So really what it's saying is e to the x equals e. In other words, it's just plain old 1. And a lot of times when you were solving equations with the e's, if you did the natural log of an e, the natural log and e would just cancel each other out. It would give us the 1 there. Um, the last one in this video is number 16. Again, equal to x. Now notice that the base here on this log is 1 half. So if I rewrite it in exponential form, the 1 half to the x power would equal that 1 over 16. And notice that before, remember that this one, this 2 was, uh, you had to do the reciprocal to get 1 over this. Here, the 1 is staying on top, so there's no reciprocal. So really, what we're trying to think of is 2 to some power to give us 16. And 2 to the 4th works there, so 1 half raised to the fourth, one half times one half times one half times one half gives us one over 16. There's our solution for number 16.